All right, I'm gonna tell you a little story about something that happened in Virginia, and then you guys tell me if you think what he did really deserves this 100-year yes. sentence that he received. A hundred? Yeah, a hundred years. Well, what if he lives beyond 100, though? He's gonna get- Joke's on us, then. Yeah. <laughs> so he got sentenced at age zero, or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He might be 120. I know. <laughs> I think 125. He's, I think he's in his, his late 20s or something. See, 128. All right, so <laughs> this is in Virginia. There's a guy, his name's Bazin, and he works at the local Target. We covered this story before, but we didn't get this far in it, because now, we see that there's a hundred year sentence, but let me refresh your memory. This is in Virginia. He found somebody had eaten his lunch that he put in the fridge at Target. Uh, and so <laughs> after he found I'm out, he, he, did, he, you know, he did some investigating, realized it was the janitor that had like taken his lunch and ate it. So then he went and bought a hammer and two knives and he spent the day, the rest of the day, training for the murder, which is what he said. What the fuck? <laughs> and then the next morning he Wait, he came. A early hammer and two knives. Hammer and two knives. Yeah. He only has two hands though. <laughs> I know. So then the next morning, <laughs> one case one breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> spare well, spare hammer. Yeah. Case, yeah. That's basically on Joe's table right here. <laughs> but this is an accent. You know? Yeah. How was how was done? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This wasn't even prepped, you guys. <laughs> this is just. Oh, yeah. yeah. that's how you want. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There you go, that's the kill, yeah, the kill stab you right there. You keep it in the body, that's why. Oh, that's you good. You keep the stab in the body and you pull the second one. Oh. So but then, the if you're, one. but if I get stabbed, I'm just gonna use it against them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think the janitor had the skills to do what you just did. So, um, that morning he arrives really early to work and he waits in the parking lot. The janitor arrives and uh, Bazin stabs him to death. He immediately confessed to the crime and he pled guilty. Um, and at the first hearing, he told the prosecutors that if they don't give him the maximum sentence, he will definitely kill or hurt other people. That's tight. He's pretty honest, huh? This guy is fucking cuckoo. This yeah, guy's pretty well, straight up with what he- He's a straight shooter. <laughs> <laughs> this guy had a goal, he carried on the plan. So it was mainly because of that sentiment that he had there at the very end that the, they decided to give him a hundred year sentence. I think they should listen to him. Because <laughs> that's the max. Yeah. Lock him up for life. Why don't they just give him the death penalty? Uh, he's 25. 25. I wonder what his Can lunch was, out? bro. Can he get out like half time with good behavior? So uh, that'll it make says, him 75. Yeah, it says that it's 30 years suspended, so he has to serve 70 of the years. So he'll be a 95. He'll be 95. Yeah. And then he'll get out and try and kill somebody. Again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here he comes. Watch out, he's 95. Like, if you knew, if you knew guaranteed that. You put this dude back on the street, he's guaranteed yeah. gonna kill again. That's Shouldn't you saying. just off him? I would just say, don't steal his lunch. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's his trigger, you guys. <laughs> Before <laughs> that, did he have any other priors? <laughs> now, what if someone steals his lunch in jail? He's gonna kill that motherfucker? Probably. That's what I'm saying, like, serious question. I mean, like, if you knew what? for a fact, wouldn't it be... Wouldn't you just off him? But doesn't it... Or you just give him life, like, That's no true, you can't. That's because he asked to be killed. Yeah, but then, like, we're just paying to, like... Keep this dude alive oh, for yeah. guaranteed the rest of his yeah, life. What is this, like 40 G's a year per inmate or something? Yeah, so and no. it's he said, I guarantee we'll do this again if I'm out. But what if what he's inside saying? and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna change, I'm not gonna kill anybody, stuff like that. Maybe he, he could be going through something. He's still oh, 25. Like he changes you know? his mind while he's in? That's nice. No, yeah, you let's... gotta change your mind. Once you say <laughs> shit like that, that's it. He's like, I didn't mean that. Yeah, I was no. trying to see if you guys would do it. Maybe, yeah. crazy maybe like he's that. just in his rebellious stage, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just trying to play devil's advocate. You know? Yeah, All I'm saying is somebody steals your lunch, so you fucking practice murdering somebody right. for the next day in the parking lot. Like, yeah. well, there's, there's your pre med, yeah. Yeah, it's so far. Don't you think someone taking your lunch is very personal? Not for a crime of passion where I have to practice what? murdering somebody with three weapons. What? It is personal, though. What, what if you had a uh, surf and turf in your, for lunch? <laughs> Ooh, lobster in the fridge. From where? From like, you know. From the Disneyland Hotel? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, okay, somewhere. If it was what if it was a very good lunch? It was what a if it was Town burrito? It was like one of your favorite lunches you're looking for all day. You're 25 years old. You've been stocking boxes all day. You're a tired boy, and then you go for lunch, and it's it's empty. And it's gone. I'll be very, very upset, and I'll confront the person it verbally. That, it doesn't say that it was a <laughs> continual problem. It's just that it happened that day. One and done, dude. Yeah, maybe he just snapped. 
But there's like, that's, but even then with a the snap like that, it's not like crime of passion in the moment, find out, run up to him and just like bash yeah, his head. Pre, it's premeditated. Yeah, premeditated. Yeah, so premeditated. All the way to the point where he's gonna be like, I did it, lock me up maximum sentence. Like, even that is like so bizarre. Yeah, don't give him what he wants. I, I agree with Anthony. I wonder if it was like, <laughs> if I was a janitor, right? <laughs> yeah. And if I knew um, that he was gonna kill me, I'd, I'd ask the janitor myself, is that sandwich worth dying for? And it might have tasted really good. Cause so you think the janitor knew he was gonna die for this sandwich? Yeah, I think it was a really good sandwich. Joe's saying it's the janitor. <laughs> janitor should have never took the sandwich in the beginning, anyway. Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. Well, why would you take someone, But if it's yeah. someone else's food and you know it's not yours, why would you take it? What if? What if? What if he was just bull the janitor was bullying this kid? <laughs> he goes, "Hey, you brought the tuna sandwich again today? Oh man, that was so good. All right." And then he's like, "I told you, Bob." Never to take my sandwich again! And then he snapped. It was like Milton, dude. That, that could have been the situation. Do they look like To be fair, guys, he already paid the price. <laughs> That's Bazin on the left. That's, That's the janitor. janitor on the right. Do they look like they See that? could be bullying? I mean, the guy on the right looks like Tiger King a little bit. Like a janitor ti version of Tiger King. Uh -huh. And then the guy on the left... Do some shit to him. Mm -hmm. On the left. Yeah, it does look like that. What if the guy on the left is like... I don't know, he looks Ethiopian, right? So he had the fire-ass, like... Bread like that injera bread or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Actually right. And then that janitor dude was like, "What the fuck? I never had anything like this before." Oh, dude. And yeah. then so now he's like, "Oh shit! You I can't wait." First, though, what? if it wasn't like that, but the, he saw the janitor eating, and the janitor goes, "Oh!" and puts <laughs> it in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that would make you more murderous, like you. right? Nothing. Not only did you not eat this shit, but you wasted my lunch. I will say that the Boston photo, that dude looks like he's got murder in his eyes. Yeah? Look, it looks like no one's home, you know? Like, <laughs> you look at his eyes, it looks like he has dead eyes, you know? Maybe I it's just he the... Just, he did do something pretty crazy, yeah, so for maybe sure. that's like... Everyone looks like that after they did it. That's true. <laughs> I feel like, like I, I agree with you. Like, don't give him what he wants. Like he wants a maximum sentence. Maybe yeah. he's just like have a hard life and he's like, you know what, oh. man, I'm sick of fucking trying to work this job, trying to make ends meet and shit like that. You know what? If I go to jail, they'll just take care of me for the rest of my life. Interesting. Yeah. We need to kill him. So what would you give him? Death? You said? I'm just asking the question. I'm, I'm you know what I mean? It's like it's like it's a lot. It's a life lost, lost cause. Just kill him. Yeah, if it's guaranteed, it's not about reforming him and putting him back on the street. He's, he's like saying he will do it. I, is it not uh, or our, our, better punishment and justification? But our like, morality, you know what I mean? our morality in America is based on Christianity, so that's why they don't kill so easily anymore. Yeah, I'm not even saying I'm capable of voting for the death penalty for him. I'm just wondering, like, is that sentence a right sentence in right general? Out. Yes. You know what I mean? Or maybe you make him run across the fucking driving range one time. When everyone's golfing, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone aims for him like he's a golf cart. Yeah. So what would you make? What would you have to say? If I had to, yeah. see, this is why I'm not. A if you had to, if you had to. Well, You'll number one, I think it's always hard to like, yeah, like Bart was saying, like, we're, give him what he wants. You know what I mean? Like, is that a certain type of justice? Like, if he's like, you better give me the maximum sense, otherwise I'm gonna kill you. Be like, um. We can't allow that. Cause they so. just, he just, yeah, demanded and he met his demand. It's like fucking, it's not like a terrorist. Yeah, you know, so I, I would say maybe give him the choice even of being like, all right, well you can either do the death penalty or what's, what's worse than that? I feel like it was deserved cause that janitor should have never ate his fucking beef tibs, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just a guy with two knives right across his face. <laughs> It is a little funny that like there are people that have been murdered for like no reason and those dudes don't have even close to the sentence. Yeah, it's really interesting. He had a little bit of a reason. Or maybe yeah. you lock him up. <laughs> maybe you lock him up in a room full of skunks and then there's a gun inside too. So it's I, his choice? There's only yeah. one bullet in that gun. So he won't be able to kill enough skunks to kill no. the smell. He's like, okay, so maybe put him in a psychiatric freaking facility oh. instead of a prison. How Do they have those was... anymore? <laughs> what yeah. I don't understand is he's like, I'll kill again. And it's like, why? You already had your revenge. Yeah, unless like, you had a ton of sandwiches in different bridges yeah. around the world. He was, well, he's not the maybe, first one that stole. Maybe he just needed a reason. He's always been this kind of psychotic dude. Oh. Yeah. Needed a reason, got the reason, did it, and then got the taste for it and was yeah, like, like it. I'm was for like, sure doing that again. Yeah. 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 You know, if, if, if I was the judge, I'd sentence him to make a sandwich shop, 
because it's so good, it's to die for. Yeah. <laughs> it's just good branding. Okay, here's where I'm coming with it. This is uh, now I'm I'm starting to rationalize. I think at the end of the day, if you know somebody else. Uh, or if somebody is capable of killing again, you know they're gonna do okay, it again. It's guaranteed, yeah. Then I'm like, okay, yeah, death penalty. Well, I can get well they don't do that in California. They just let them go to fuck up more people. Well, that's because you can't choose your own euthanization in any form here in this state, right? What state is that in? Virginia, dude. Virginia. That that fool should die by tobacco. Yeah, by cigarettes. <laughs> that shit Virginia slips. Yeah. <laughs> because the other thing is like, whether it be like taken to a psychiatric ward or like. He reforms in 50 years, you know what I mean? And then gets back out in the public. The second he does it one more time, the whole system fucked up. And we spent 50 years of tax dollars to keep him in jail and keep him alive. I think he's right. I think it is easier for someone who obviously wants to kill die. somebody once to do, obviously do it again. Like, especially once you open those doors, yo, let him die. Yeah. No if, it, if, if somebody kill, if he killed somebody for stealing a sandwich, but he didn't say, I'm guaranteed going to do it again, I'm not on this page at all. Hey, Ryan, can you check yeah, the stats of anyone's ever just killed one person? Can you just check that? <laughs> <laughs> do they usually stop at one person? 